What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be looking at one of my favorite champions and i still use her all the time she's a huge game changer she used to be a massive trash meister it's visix the umbode and she got a buff and she just became one of the best champions in the game um, she's a login reward that we all get she is huge for progression so you know if you want to go from stage 20 to say 25 she will help you with that with all the control that she brings um i still use her for doom tower hard every rotation every floor she can clear it and she could also be used for hydra so i use her in hydra hard i know she can be using brutal as well but i mean she brings so much to the table and like i said she's a huge game changer so mine's in double perception and speed and the substats we want to be looking for are speed and accuracy uh, then defense percentage and hp percentage but speed and accuracy are your go-to's first uh, then we've got hp on the gloves hp on the chest piece and then speed on the boots hp on the ring hp on the amulet and then accuracy on the banner so 62k HP, she's one tanky mofo. Um, and then we've got 3.4k defense. And again, that is just adding to her tankiness. Um, 271 speed. This is like the minimum amount of speed that you need for um, Doom Tower hard. So that is a lot, but it's definitely worth pushing for. Um, the more speed she has, the more of a beast she will be for you. And if you could get crit rate, that'd be great as well. You know, help speed things up a little bit, a bit more damage. But the speed, the defense, the accuracy, the HP are more important. Uh, resistance would be good on her as well. You know, it stops people being able to CC her. And then we've got 450 in accuracy, which is plenty for Hydra and plenty for Doom Tower. So let's look at the skills first, and then we'll talk about blessings. So her A3 attacks one enemy. Sorry, attacks one enemies, places a provoke debuff for one turn, places a shield buff on this champion equal to 20% of their max HP for two turns. And it's on a three turn cooldown. Amazing. So she's going to provoke the enemy and she's going to put a big fat shield on herself and just soak all those hits. A2, attacks one enemies, places a, sorry, has a 75% chance, 100 when fully booked are placing the big boy version of decreased speed for two turns and then also places ally protection buff on all allies except this champion for two turns and it's on a three turn cooldown again i mean two huge skills on three turn cooldowns is just huge um and the ally protection as well so slow great for hydra you know it it's one of my favorite debuffs to use on the hydra heads and just great for doom tower as well you know, it just slows everything down. It just means you get more turns in, you get more control and the ally protection as well. You know, because she's got so much HP, she can soak it all up. Uh, I definitely recommend bringing in, I mean, she pairs up really nicely with Seal. So someone that's going to be able to heal you up as well because she is eating a lot of hits. But yeah, just such, such a good champion. And then as if she didn't have enough in her kit, she also has an A1 that attacks an enemy two times each hit when fully booked has a 100% chance of decreasing the enemy's, sorry, the target's turn meter by 15% and fills this champion's turn meter equal to the amount that the target lost. So this is one of the strongest A1s in the game. Not many champions have an A1 that is as good as this. So we're definitely going to be pushing back turn meter. And this can be done on like normal bosses. And it's great for controlling waves in the Doom Tower. And we're also going to be boosting our turn meter at the same time. And it means that we can just get more turns in and just cycle through our abilities even more. She also brings in an aura, but it's only really for faction wars. It kind of sucks. So, however, she is great for faction wars. So if you, you know, struggling dark elves, bring her in. You should be able to easily be able to do stage 21 with her. So blessings. I feel like the only real blessing to go for is brimstone i mean brimstone is just so good 
You know, it's going to help you get through waves faster. It just brings uh, so much damage and you can use it for Hydra. Um, I guess if you're struggling for Doom Tower and I would prioritize Doom Tower with her, then maybe go for Polymorph instead. So Polymorph is just going to add to that, um, you know, just add to that CC that you have. And she's going to take a lot of hits because she's got Provoke. So it does help. So Polymorph or Brimstone, Brimstone being my preferred. And also Brimstone's bringing us that extra HP and the extra accuracy as well. But yeah, such, you know, she is such a beast. So Masteries. So these Masteries are kind of old. And I'm <laughs> when I was building her, originally I was going to put in a stun set. But the stats are more important. So you need to prioritize the stats first. You need to reach these stats first and then think about what gear set you're going to go for. So the gear set I'd actually go with her now would definitely be probably speed or speed of perception and a provoke set. So provoke, you know, she's just going to have more chance of provoking the enemies because she does do, you know, two AOE hits on three turn cooldowns. But also it's just so good for Hydra. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I feel. I feel that's like the best way to go with her. Um, I wish I wish I had good enough provoke gear to put her in that. If you're like me and you don't have the gear, you know, you could go triple speed. You could go triple perception. It's just about hitting those stats. So we've got um, gone for support just again for extra accuracy. Um, also arcane solidarity. So we do throw out a few debuffs and when they expire, we've got a good chance to boost our turn meter. Going for master hexer as well. Keep those speed, um, those slows on the enemy for longer. And evil eye as well. Very, very, it is so nice with an A1. It is such, so good, so good. So then I've gone for defense because we want her to be tanky. She's not really going to be doing a lot of damage. So we've gone for resistance. We've gone for improved parry. So it's going to reduce critical hits to us. And then rejuvenation. So we get bigger shields and bigger healing on this champion. Resurgence. So one of my favorite. It's probably one of the best masteries in the game. You take a big hit. And then we've got a very good chance of removing a debuff from ourselves. Can come in clutch. Delay on death is going to reduce the damage that we take over time. Um, harvest despair as well. So we can land leeches. If we place a stun, sleep, fear. Sorry. Yeah, so we have a good chance of placing Leech for one turn when placing Stun, Sleep, Fear, True Fear, Freeze, or Petrification. Actually, that's no good for us. She doesn't do any of those things. My bad. I don't know why I've done that. Yeah, it's a shame. I guess I, I guess it's because I originally was planning to put her in a Stun set. So if she was in a Stun set, she could land Leeches as well, but never mind. I mean, it's no good for Hydra, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'd probably take Cycle of Magic instead. Uh, cycle revenge again take a big hit good chance to increase our turn meter retribution as well again take a big hit we can get counter attacks push back with the um, a1 and you know bump up our turn meter and fearsome presence so i think again i just feel like a provoke set would be just so like absolute god tier on Vizix. Um and having like a five percent chance to increase that would just be huge um if you're like me and you can't get good enough gear, go for Eagle instead, and then you can put your stats elsewhere. But um, yeah, so that's how, that's how I would build her. Now let's um, let's hop into Hydra, and then we'll like check her out in a Doom Tower wave and just see the sort of control that she brings. So this is the team that I run for Hydra Hard. We got Leo, Artak, Hepfrak, Tuhanarak, Godseeker, and Vizix. So we're running three DPS champions. Um, it's full auto, by the way. It usually gets about 40 mil. Um, and a huge part of that is down to Vizix. You know, she's keeping the head of cleansing under wraps, which is the most annoying head, in my opinion. Either that or Mischief. Um, but yeah, she keeps under wraps with that provoke. But then that decrease speed, I feel like the decrease speed is the real key to bumping up the numbers of damage. Um, you know, the slower they are, the more turns we're getting in. And again, if she just had that provoke set, it would just make this so much better because the head of mischief, no, sorry, the head of cleansing would just never get a turn. 
Um, yeah, and on normal, this team does something like 250 to 300 mil. And on hard, we're looking at yeah, about 40 mil. Uh, we're running three DPS champions. And that's because Tanarak, Vizix, and Godseeker are covering so many of the key components we need to build a Hydra team. So Hitfrak, um, obviously just doing raw damage, same as Leo. Artek, I love him just because he's thrown out. Um, HP burns, you know, so even if he does get eaten, he's still doing damage and he can do activate burns as well. To Hunarak, I mean, the block debuffs, the decrease attack, huge, two of the best debuffs for Hydra. And then Godseeker's just in there just to do healing. Um, she can also, if she did have accuracy on her, she can um, like decrease buffs as well, the duration of buffs. And she's also just in there for revives as well. But yeah, and she's just bringing so much to the table. Like, you know, this t we've only had like 14 turns and we've all done re already done 4.5 mil. Um, yeah, she is just huge. She's just so huge for Hydra. So if you're new to Hydra, you know, she's definitely worth bringing in. Um, she, you know, like I said, she is just bringing in so much control. And again, she can be used for Brutal as well. I think you might need a slightly different build for that. I think if I was going to use her for Brutal, either Guardian set or Regen, because she's because of the ally protection, she is going to be eating. A, a, you know, she just eats up so much damage. She's soaking it all up like a sponge and she needs to heal. I mean, look at that. Two minutes in now, or two and a half minutes, and we've already done 10 mil damage, 20 turns, huge. So we're on Doom Tower hard, and as you can see, we've cleared every single floor. And this is rotation one, but like I said, this does every single floor. Uh, that's my normal team uh, that I run. This is the one that we run for Hydra hard. This is the A team. Just turn off auto. So we're gonna open up with Provoke, and you can see everyone is under control lydia with the drop defense and weaken um, we can throw on hex as well from mithrala and you can see we've got three champions bringing in um cc so Vizix, mithrala and seal they're all throwing out cc so we've got so much control i absolutely love this team I mean, and it's a really good team for like a free to play account I mean, the only real champion, I mean, every single champion you can get here apart from Seer. Seer kind of can be replaced, but it's very difficult. I mean, Seer is Seer. She is one of the best champions in the game. And actually, let's just stick it on auto again. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake there. Um, we wanted to save the slow for the second wave, but it's all good, guys. It's all good. Yeah, we're going to run, we'll ru probably run into some problems into the second one. Hopefully we can sort of cycle back round with physics. Maybe not. Ah, oh, okay. So that's, this is This would be a failed run. Uh, and that's because we'd like to throw out the slow first. Um, because Rotos is obviously going to be able to cleanse because he's paired up with Sifi. So he will actually clear, also cleanse all of that. And even the hexes as well. Oh no. Perfect. Oh, I thought I thought you needed slow for this wave. Guess you don't. But now see if he's dead. It's game over. It's pretty easy. And we just cycle back around again. But yeah, but Vizix, she just opens up so much for you. One of my favorite champions, a huge game changer that everyone has access to. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash. That subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace!